Hi, I'm Carrie Lawless, and today's decorating dilemma is what in the world do you do with windows that are 12 feet high? Everybody knows custom draperies are so expensive, and when you're talking 12 feet of fabric, that can really get pricey. So today we have windows that are actually two windows, one stacked on top of the other. Now, one thing that you can do, and what I see done a lot, is just putting a curtain rod between the two windows and highlighting the lower set of windows. That is an option. However, the best option is to get curtains that are 12 feet high and go all the way up. And what that does, it visually increases the space in the room. It also, with that much fabric and that much height, gives you a luxurious feeling and it just gives a sense of opulence and it gives a lot of warmth and color to the room. So today, we found 12 foot panels on Amazon. We're gonna get a designer look on a not so designer budget. Okay, so here are our curtain panels. These are 144 inches tall, which is amazing because we got these for $50 a piece. We've got four panels, and so that's about $200 for this totally custom look. Now, because our windows themselves are a little bit messed up, and we really don't have it in the budget to replace the glass, I've got these shears. Now, this is not the most ideal situation. This is actually a scarf. It's made to just drape over. Um, they don't have grommets on it. I wouldn't do this again, but since I have it, we're gonna go ahead and use it. If I didn't already have this, I would have also ordered the 12 foot tall shears that already had the grommets or a rod pocket or something like this. But we're gonna make this work because it's what we've got. So let's get started. We're gonna measure two inches down. So I'm just gonna make my little mark here. My little mark here. One of the tricks that I do to make sure the screw goes in easily, I take the tip of the screwdriver and I just kind of press in. Sometimes you can just tap the end of it and it makes an indention. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but you know, you'll go to screw it in and it's falling all over the place. Making that little indention, giving the screw a place to go, sometimes really helps that. Then you just hold it until you get it started. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna unscrew these screws to make sure that the rod goes in easily when I get it up here. All right, so I've got these screws backed out. We are ready. And Holly is wonderful and already has the curtains on the rod and ready to go. So now one of the things I wanna point out, I've seen people do this where the rod comes to here, hold on, and then the curtain comes in. And I don't know if you can see, but the rod is extending well past the curtains. It looks the most finished and the best when you bring it in and the finial lines up with the end of the curtain. So just make sure to have the finial in the right place. All right, all I need is the shear. The good news is since this is 12 feet in the air, you really can't see the detail. Sometimes that can be a good thing. All right, so let's take a look how the finished product came out. All right, so here is the finished product. I am so super excited. So when you consider the, the cost of the curtains and the shears and the rods, which we got a phenomenal deal on, I mean, the whole thing was maybe just over $250. And what a difference that it makes. We still have to steam them, they have some wrinkles, but I mean, to get a designer look like this, this would be thousands, literally, if this were done custom. The other thing we did, this fireplace behind me at one time did not have a mantle. Um, and then it also had the tile the same as the floor. So when you walked in through the front door, this is the first thing you see. We had terracotta tiles and no mantle and just a blank wall. 
So we wanted to draw attention from that. We wanted to bring in grays and neutrals and things like that. So we literally ripped off the tile away from here and then we put some new more modern colors and a different pattern to draw your eye to this pretty thing instead of the terracotta tiles. And, um, and then we had a, a mantle built. We still are gonna paint the sides to match the walls, because the thing is you want something like that to just blend away. When you wanna accent something, you paint it differently. When you want it to blend away, you paint it the same as what's right next to it. So we're gonna paint that trim the same as the wall, and then we went ahead and just hung something neutral on the wall and put some candle holders. We still have to get a couple of candles, but I am super excited for what we spent and what we got. Thank you so much for watching. I am Carrie Lawless. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have more incredible content that is gonna help you and do things on a budget and get a great look for not a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching.